Did you know that you're really self-employed, even if you work for somebody else, but you just didn't know it? Well, how is that, you ask? I'll tell you, coming up. Welcome to Job Tips, the career development channel. Some time ago, I came up with this phrase, self-employed but don't know it. You see, I believe that when you work for someone else, you have all the power to treat your career or your job like your own little part of the world that you own. Because you kind of do. For example, my name is Greg Allen, right? Now, if I work for someone else, I would say that I own Greg Allen Industries, Greg Allen Enterprises, if you will, in my mind. So I can control the quality of product that I provide or service that I provide for my one customer, which is my employer. So when you interview for a job, you're interviewing for that job as if you are the one person that has the product that that customer, your future employer needs. You're going to work every day when they want you to go to work. You're doing the work that they want you to do, but you are in control of the quality of product the output that you, your small business in your head will provide to that one customer. You set your price. My price for my services is, it's your salary. And in exchange for that price, the product you're gonna get is your service, your expertise, your knowledge, your work. But when you have the mindset of being self-employed, a self-employed person is oftentimes really high quality conscious because if you don't maintain a high level of quality, you can find yourself out of business being self-employed. Well, you can also find yourself out of business working for someone else in that they fire you. Well, what is that? But, but a customer who says, I'm not going to use your services anymore, but someone else's. So what I have found is that when people employ that mentality of being sort of self-employed, so they work for somebody else. Yes, they're doing the work that their boss expects of them, that the company requires. They're being paid the money the company's paying them. They're going on vacation when the company approves their vacation time. And I get all that. But to the extent that they can control the quality of their work and they can treat their job like their own little piece of the world that they own, they generally put out much better quality as opposed to the person that punches the clock and just does the minimum work to satisfy the boss, to make sure that he doesn't get fired, to collect that check and then go home. The quality you put out when you don't have an owner mindset can suffer if you allow it to. So I encourage you, take the pride in your work to the extent that if it was the company that you owned in reality, which you kind of do up here, that you would be very proud of it. You would not want to put out bad product, right? In a company you literally own. If you own a company, you want to put out good quality product, good quality service. Same thing, working for someone else. You really are self-employed up here. You just didn't know it. So I hope this helps you a little bit just in your mindset while you work for someone else to put out the quality work that they deserve, for which they hired you, and that you deserve for yourself. To have that sort of mindset, that sort of dedication to say, I own my own piece of the world. And as part of owning my own little business, my own, my name enterprises, I'm going to give my one customer, my boss, the quality of service or product that he's paying for. Because I'm self-employed. Just didn't know it. But that's it for now. For job tips, I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Meantime, I hope you have the kind of job or career that you want to have.